when it's that time for fun. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another weekend reading vlog, even though it's a weekly reading vlog because it, we're starting it off on Wednesday, but we're going to be going, doing some fun things and hoping to take my camera along with me and get a little lost into the corn maze, which, you know, that'll be fun, so we'll, I'll try to record that as well, and maybe do a couple of little small photos in the corn maze because that sounds like fun and I need it. So we will definitely be doing that little fun thing, so yes. <laughs> Alright, that is all I have for right now for this opening, so I will see you guys hopefully while I'm at the pumpkin patch later today. Alright, alright, bye guys! We out! Paper, okay. Oh Are we? <laughs> when you get lost in a corn maze. Oh. Turkey, turkey, turkey! Turkey! Hello! It's Friday! Are we still bad at updating? Yes, yes we are. But it's okay. <laughs> sort of. But... Yesterday, the only thing I managed to do was finish A Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J. Maas. This is the novella to the series, and I'm so excited. I'm finally all caught up on that series, and now I'm just waiting on the fifth book, because I guess we consider this book four, even though it's the short novella, but I'm counting it as four. I don't know about everybody else, but I'm counting it as four. So, we're moving on from this. I really enjoyed it. Five out of five stars, of course. Do you expect anything less from me when it comes to Sarah J. Maas? You shouldn't, because obsessed. And we're perfectly okay with that. Alright, and then of course today, Friday, I have finished yet a another book. I think I finished like four bucks now last week, so that's pretty good on my account. So, ooh. But yes, like I said, I finally got this book done, which is called Baby Teeth by Zoji Stage. Oh my goodness, the only thing I can describe for this book is creepy. Very creepy. The little girl hates her mother and will do anything in her power to get rid of her mother if she can, but she's obsessed with her daddy. Like, she's a daddy's little girl. Like, don't get me wrong, I was a daddy's girl too, but never that intense. Oh, I think she's like six or seven, like, she's really little. And, like, she doesn't want to speak through half of the thing, but she claimed that she was possessed by a witch, but that was just her researching things online on her daddy's computer, which she probably shouldn't have done. A, protect your password better than he should have. And then it's just, it's so crazy. It went back and forth between the daughter and the mother. The mother was more scared of, 
of the daughter and the daughter like I said she was not a fan of her mother whatsoever and I'm sad <laughs> like I mean I guess that you have favorites but like like nowhere <laughs> If you haven't read Baby Teeth yet, and if you're still looking for spooky Halloween things, <clears throat> read Baby Teeth. Just trust me, read it. But if you do listen, but if you do read it and listen to the audiobook, <laughs> there's some scenes in here between the parents, of course, where they do things. It's not very often. It's very little bit. So I'm throwing that out there before you do pick this up, because it is an adult. Book. It's not YA whatsoever, but it's really good and it's really creepy, and I think you all should check this book out because yes. Okay, <laughs> we're done with that one. I think. Anyway, now I want to get into the audiobook for Girls of Storm and Shadow, Blue Pretty Edges. And then I also want to try and start Bag of Bones by Stephen King. Yes, another Stephen King scary book for the month. Because we did finish If It Bleeds. That was the other one I was looking for that I finished. Anyway. <laughs> uh, long, long story short, we want to get into this. Girls of the Storm in Shadow. <laughs> I also want to start chain because it looks really short and easy to fly through and then I have another small book that looks like it's easy and small to fly through as well so we have all this time left and I want to get those done and I still want to get more into how to hang a witch because this is really good I'm loving this and then really need to finish the day before it's short and I don't have that many pages left I'm just taking my time with it I do that with some books I shouldn't the video and then I also want to try and finish iron and gold sometime this weekend or next week because we have a little bit more time in there as well so <clears throat> iron and gold you're getting thrown in there yes <laughs> And then eventually we need to get more into Crown of Feathers, because again, more pretty edges. We love the edges of the books that I paint from that I see online. And then of course, see these pretty edges? Mm, gorgeous. Okay. Gushing. But I'm not mad about it. Ooh, and then definitely need to get in more into blood and honey and then I'm gonna grab it back out maybe here we go because I definitely want to get more into crush I got up as far as 22 which was on chapter Five already so this one is also going well and it has the Ethel pages that I like so all these plans all these reading things I want to do within the next few weeks and then I work tomorrow and Sunday but in between I can read watching more Halloween movies because yes so that's pretty much all I have for right now for today's update. I'll probably update tomorrow sometime in the afternoon because I work for a little bit. So we don't know how much reading will get done, but eventually on the way to work and home, we'll get some done. That's what we try to do. But, all right, so that's it for my Friday night fun shenanigans. Shenanigans. Anyway, I'm gonna go to more a little bit of iron gold and get ready for bed. We got an early morning. Anyway, we don't know what all the hand gesture is, just roll with it. It's Friday night. Ooh. Anyway.
anyway, I'll see you guys sometime tomorrow. Okay, okay, bye! When you're still waiting for a vlog from last week to upload, I don't know if y'all can see that. This is 86%. Oh my goodness. And then, watch this little fun thing. We are. Oh, it'll take a minute. We are editing another weekend reading vlog. Oh, fun. And good morning. It is Saturday work later but i just figured i would do this little small clip and that is all i got for right now bye good evening you guys it is a sunday night i'm still waiting for this or sunday night saturday night wow that nap did me no good <laughs> all right focus this is now at 91 percent it moved a little bit from 88 or whatever it was on this morning, like, for real? Alright, but in between work, I know I said I was going to start the audiobook for the Girls of Shadow and Storm, but I changed my mind and started the audiobook for The Outletters by Kimberly McWright, and I am so far into this. It is super good. I'm up to like chapter 18 so far. And I... It's creepy. It's good. And like, I like it. And it definitely on the back it says trust your instincts. Which I always do. So the fact that it says this. It's just... It's... Ah, it's everything. But... Yeah, so far, this is what I've been working on this weekend, and I'm like halfway done. Ignore this little bookmark thing, it's actually a song. But anyway, I don't have that much left of this book, and then once after I finish this, I'll probably start to another short audiobook and knock it out of the park like that, because we like that, and... This one will probably be up by the time I'm editing this one and getting it ready to load. We hope, fingers crossed, of course. And that's pretty much all I got for the moment. I know there's a ebook that comes out Tuesday that I want. It's a short novella to Eliminate. So if you like Eliminate series, the novella is coming out this Tuesday on the 20th. So by the time this video is uploaded, it'll probably already be out and I might smash through that one because I've read all three already except for the novella and I've been wanting the novella since I've heard about it like last year. And now that they're releasing it on Kindle, mm, I need it. And my little skull guy wants to say hello. Whether we like this, we may never know, but he says hi. And then I've had these little guys forever, so I'm just showing them off. I have another one. Would you like to see a future? It's got a magic eight ball. <laughs> like you said, we don't know why we're like this, but it's okay. Nothing to be concerned. And then, to show you how much I really like Halloween, I have a couple different of these, two of these little dice guys that I like to put next to my school creatures. And I have these regular couple dice things too. Just showing off a little bit on my desk, which is very crowded. And, if you can tell, there's my switch. I need to charge it so I can play more of my Animal Crossing because we like Animal Crossing. Have we visit my village lately? No, the last time I visited it, it was cold. So I don't know if it's still cold there. I wonder if it's summer. I need to charge it to find out if it's summer. <laughs> but, yes, all my little random knickknacks I have on my desk. 
my coloring book for the Vampire Diaries, which I need to do some coloring soon because I left off on Stefan. Sorry, Stefan, I'm leaving you. <laughs> and then there's some more fun knickknacks. My Hocus Pocus sign, you guys, look how cute it is. Oh, whoa, too far, too far. It has got a little hair. Another little Halloween thing. Sarah and Mary is a bunch of Hocus Pocus. A little cauldron, some pumpkins, and a new candle. Nightmare Before Christmas, I have some coasters. Ignore that. And then another Nightmare Before Christmas, a snow globe. I'm not obsessed. Oh, and then my 31 thing. And then up here, I have a microphone, letter for my name, some more Halloweenish stuff. I got Sally from the Nightmare Before Christmas, of course. And then we have Styles from Teen Wolf. And then we have some Game of Thrones. Not that they're Halloween, but you know, showing it off a little bit. Cause you know, Saturday night it's what with the oh. And then look at that little guy. He's so cute. I've had him forever too. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna end this uh, clip here because it's kind of long, but it, it's okay. It works. So. Yes, and still, 91%. Why are you so slow, internet? Ooh, that got blurry quick. My bad. Back it up. Well, I didn't mean for that to fall down, but okay. At this point, I'm just rambling. It won't focus. Focus. Focus, 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 focus. No, it won't. All right. Alright, I'm gonna end the clip here and I will chat with y'all again tomorrow sometime. Alright, bye guys! Oh,